What's going on guys, Orzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we've got the brand new Foot Freeze Balassier card that is currently in objectives right now and a card that only actually took me around two hours to get. Longer than I expected, I must admit, I usually do in like an hour, half and all of that, but people was not rage quitting, which is so annoying to see, but it is what it is. We eventually got the card. Now this card right here look, does look pretty good. 86 pace, 84 dribbling, 85 shooting, 80 passing with the 81 physical. If we are comparing him to his gold card, he's got plus 6 pace plus 16 shooting plus 12 passing plus 5 dribbling plus 8 defending and a plus 4 to physicals as well gold card being a left wing and this card being a cam is interesting to see because you look at this card and you think to yourself is he really a cam like 76 long passing and 84 short passing that's not really a cam kind of passing if you know what i mean so today i will be trying balassi in a striker a cam and a winger position as well just to make sure that he's an absolute beast in every single position. Now he's he's obviously six foot one, and with six foot one, six foot one, it's not going to be that big of a deal, as long as the player feels good on the ball. If the player feels good on the ball, I'm not going to have a problem with it. But if he doesn't feel good on the ball, that's when you're going to start to notice sluggish play. You're going to notice like his balance start like kind of leaning him down a little bit and stuff like that. So hopefully he feels good on the ball because if he doesn't it could be you know a whole different story now when it comes down to work rate straight up i can tell you this guy is not a cam i will be trying him in there just you know for the sake of the review but i can tell you straight up he is not a cam a cam with high low work rate is not a cam it's a second striker as simple as that this guy's going to be making runs in behind he's going to be high up on a pitch ready for those quick counter attacks he has got five star skill moves which you know i'm always going to enjoy but he has got a three star weak foot as well which is not the end of the world because the last few players that i've tried with a three star weak foot have actually been pretty decent with it so i'm gonna obviously give it a go see how it works out hopefully it is good now the engine chem style is the chem style i have used today simply because i feel like he needs to feel good on the ball him being six foot one i need him to be agile with those five star skill moves now obviously the hunter chem style is also an amazing chem style for this card but once again you're not getting the agility and you aren't getting the dribbling but the bad thing about engine you're not getting the finishing so it's it's a tough one honestly it's a tough one but it's something you have to deal with and it's a decision you guys are going to have to make hunter chem style or engine chem style for me personally i do feel like engine is probably the way to go but we're going to see how he is in game he has got 88 acceleration and 94 sprint speed which is really decently fast 89 attacking positioning 81 finishing with the 99 shot power obviously 81 finishing not being the greatest i'm going to see how it does in game but one thing i can definitely say i do feel like the shot power is going to carry the shot if you know what i mean now, does he have any shooting traits? He does not. 83 long shots, 69 volleys with the 80 penalties as well. Passing ability, he's got 85 vision, 95 crossing, 57 free kick accuracy, 89 short passing, 81 long passing with the 86 curve. Dribbling ability, he's got 88 agility, 91 balance, a 78 reactions, 85 ball control, 94 dribbling with the 80 composure. Hopefully, the composure isn't too bad because... I notice a big, big difference between people that have really low composure than the people that have high composure to the point where when a player is running towards them, like a Virgil van Dijk's running towards you, they start to panic and they start to take bad touches rather than a person that has high composure that's take these precise touches that allows me to get past the person rushing towards me. Now, when he comes down to physicals, he has got 88 jumping, 81 stamina, 82 strength and 79 aggression. And he also does have 85 heading accuracy. Now, the stamina is a bit questionable for even for the cam position, but I do feel like the strength is something you do love to see. Now, when it comes down to links, as I said, he's from the Premier League. He's literally playing at Everton. So it's very easy to link him. I've linked him up with Son, Aguero, Mason Mount, and Tozoko. I've also got the likes of Lucas, Bellerin, and Virgil van Dijk in his team. I will play him Balassi in a 4 4 2 in that striker position, and I will try him in a 4 2 3 1 in the cam and winger position as well. But let's get into the games. So the first thing we are going to try is how he feels on the ball. Please say you feel agile on the ball. Okay. It's, it's not extremely agile, I must say, but it is fairly fast, which is something I am going to enjoy with those five star skill moves. Aguero, over to Balassi, nice turns, oh god, that is awful defending and he is going to miss that opportunity with that freestyle weak foot, oh come on, I feel like that's a really good opportunity as well, just to slot it straight into the corner, but hey, 81 finishing, yes, you got 99 shot power, but you also have a freestyle weak foot, which is something I'm never really, really going to enjoy, Balassi on the ball, a few step overs, ball roll, oh no, he's oh stop it, he's took Oh, so I thought I got AI blocked. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I literally didn't see where the ball went after it went straight towards someone. But either way, we get the goal. 
Aguero on the ball. Balassi's made that movement down. Very interesting. A few step overs. Hill to hill round the keeper and we should have that guaranteed goal. Even with a three-star weak foot, I still feel like that's like a guaranteed opportunity and I doubt he's going to miss that one. Balassi's actually coming short, which is interesting because he has high-low work rates and I'm thinking to myself, right, high-low work rates with his kind of attacking positioning usually just allows him to make those runs in behind consistently. But when I'm passing like this, that's when I want to see him make that run into the middle. Mm, that was a bit slow. But we're still going to get a finish. I need him to make that run a little bit earlier. Because my opponent had the opportunity to kind of close out that gap. Because of how long Balassi actually took to get into it. But at least we got the easy finish, I guess. This guy's gone all out attack. Oh, boys. The R1 turn. Oh, no. Let me. I need to try that again. Because that R1 turn didn't look great. I'm going to be honest. Aguero. Balassi, I need you to come back on side. There you go. Little bull roll. Few step overs. His skill moves, by the way. Oh my god, his skill moves feel really, really clean. They feel to the point where they're so natural, and you know he's going to create those like perfect angles. So we've got a penalty here, and we are going to give it to the man himself, Balassi. He's going to step up with his 80 penalties. Can he rifle it top bins, boys? He's got 99 shot power. I need him to absolutely smack it towards a near post. Towards a near post. Towards the top bins. Don't know why I'm saying near post, but it is what it is. We get the goal. Lucas. To Balassi, something I do want to try out is his R1 dribbling. Hmm, not great. Let's all be honest. Very, very slow. And that's something that I'm not going to like. But look at that acceleration. Little ball roll in. Three-star weak foot finesse shot. Okay, okay. I see you. I see you. Really nice footwork just to keep it very close to his feet. Just going through these tight angles. And what a finish with a three-star weak foot. I'm going to be honest. I thought it was going to hit post. But hey, I'll take it. He's made a good run. Come on. Keep going. Use that pace. Use the pace. He, I'm going to be real. He's not insanely fast, but I feel like he has got enough pace to kind of outpace like the top tier center backs, if you know what I mean. And also, I like how he's got like a, a very muscular body type, I feel like. He's got a body type that you know, if you get into the situation that he has to use his strength and aggression, he is going to use it. Balassi on the ball. Going to go for a sombrero. Little flick. Oh, that's very lucky. Oh, my God. Can he give win the header? Oh, really? That power shot was absolutely insane. But a thing that kind of makes him a bit better than, like, a lot of meta strikers, I would say, is the fact that he could win that header. The fact that he's got that heading accuracy. The fact that he is six foot one. And the fact that he has got a high, high jumping ability to obviously win that header over a defender. You will not see that from a lot of meta strikers this year. I'm sending Balassi in behind. He is playing down the wing right now. That's good strength. Really good strength. I'm going to try the Balassi flick. You have to try the Balassi flick with the Balassi. Come with Balassi, sorry. And we are going to go for that cross goal finish. And we are going to score it. I got my words so tangled today. I don't know, even know what's happening. But either way, Balassi flick with Balassi. Around, I believe it was Furlan Mendy, I think it is. And what a goal. Balassi flick one. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Come on. Use that pace. Use that pace. Try to get in front of Furlan Mendy. He's done it, boys. Oh, <gasps> no. If I could just come out with the ball. That literally went under his legs. That would have been so, so good if I scored that. Smack it all the way to the Balassi. Is he going to win the header? I feel like that is something that he's going to be good at, though. If he gets in front of that player and you do play him down the line, he can be like a, an outlet. So let's say you're getting team press because he is very tall and he has got that jumping ability. Is that on? No, it's not. He's got that jumping ability, right? And he is very tall. So what he could do is he could stand in front of the fullback, shield them off, and just win the header pretty much every time. Little few step overs. Go down that line. Come on. Use the pace. Use the pace. As you clearly can see, the pace, I'm going to be real, is not insane, right? It's good, but it's not insane. Players like Bruno Fernandes is catching him up, which obviously Bruno Fernandes is not the slowest of players with the right chem style. It's just I feel like Balassi should... Oh, that's under the legs. Oh, don't do it to him. I had to stop speaking just because he went straight under the legs, boys. Little reverse. Ah, oh, I was going to go for a little skill run. But yeah, as I was saying, with Bruno Fernandes, obviously he's not the slowest of players if you put like the Hunter Kemstar on him. But I still like, I still feel like Balassi should be outpacing those kind of players. Son. 
Over to Balassi. I'm going to go for the chip. Oh, if we could just get that chip. Maybe we get the ball. No, we can't. I am playing him in the cam position right now. And as you clearly can see, he's running forward like there's no tomorrow. He's seeing the open space and he's going into the space, which is obviously perfectly fine for cam to actually do. But I still feel like he can't really, really play in a cam position because of those high low work rates. He's pretty much going to be like a second striker. So it is time to review him. Three games played, eight goals scored of the zero assist as well. And without a doubt, his goal scoring ability was definitely, definitely top tier. And do I feel like you need the Hunter Kem style? No. I don't feel like you need it. There's not really... I wouldn't say there's no point, to be fair. I'm not going to say that because I can see the point of putting the Hunter Kem style. I just feel like you're going to benefit way more with the engine Kem style on him. Now, do I feel like he is worth the grind? And do I feel like he is worth the time to put into this card to actually get it? Yes. The reason I say yes is because you're not just getting a really good super sub or starter. You're also getting a player that can act like an outlet. So yeah, you can play him striker. Yes, you can play him down the wing, whatever. But you're getting a person that can act, act like an outlet. And an outlet pretty much means where you're getting team pressed. You haven't got a player that can win the headers. You haven't got a player that's going to be like a target man kind of player, if you know what I mean. And what you could do is you could put Balassi in the lamb or ram position. And he's going to be winning those headers as long as he's in front of him against the Furlan Mendes, against the Samedos, the Bellerins, the Trents, all those players. He is going to be winning headers over. So I would say 100% he is a player that you need to get no matter what. Now, if we're talking about his ability to actually play the game, then it's a whole different story because his pace is good. It's just not insane. His dribbling is good. It's not insane. His shooting is good. It's not insane. And you can kind of get where I'm going from there. Now, let's get straight into the ratings. Pace. I am going to give his pace. I'm going to say an 8. 0.7 out of 10. The reason I'm not going to give it too high is because, yes, he was giving Furlan Mendy a bit of struggle, but I do feel like if you match up against the Varans, if you match up against those really, really fast centre backs like Opara, you're not going to see a para, you're not going to see Balassi get past a para, you're not going to see Balassi get past Varan. It's just simple as that. Now, when it comes down to the shooting ability, I did obviously enjoy it, as you clearly can see, eight goals in three games. But the thing is, right, the three star weak foot is always going to be inconsistent. It's never going to be me being 100% comfortable with shooting with his left foot. It's always going to be one of those ones. So for shooting, I am going to give him, I would say like an 8.2, 8.3 out of 10. Passing ability. With the engine chem style, obviously it's, it's going to make it better. But I did really like his short passing. I liked how consistent it was. And I did really like how I could rely on him playing a good pass. Rather than, you know, passing to someone like Suzoka. And you know how Suzoka is this year, right? You're not going to get that pass 100% of the time. With Balassi, you obviously are. So for passing, I'll give him like an 8.2, 8.3 out of 10. Dribbling wise, I'm going to be real. He felt good on the ball, but he didn't feel it insane. Like I said earlier, it's just one of those cards where he is without a doubt usable with those five star skill moves. You can create a lot of angles with those five star skill moves as well. So for dribbling, I am going to give him, I would honestly say like an 8.5, 8.6 out of 10. Physicals. Now, something that did really impress me was obviously the physicals. The stamina, I'm going to be real, did not last for the whole 90 minutes. So if you're going to use this guy, use him as a super sub or get a super sub for him. Strength and aggression, I did really like his strength. I did like how he would obviously go in front of the player and just shield him off. And it was fairly easy for him because of his body type. So for physicals, I would say, I would say like an 8.3, 8.4 out of 10 as well. But an overall rating out of 10, I am going to give him I would say like an 8.2, maybe an 8.3 out of 10. Once again, he's a really, really good player without a doubt. He's just not, a, you know, not that player that's going to take you on to the next level. And if I had to compare him to one person, it probably would be like a, a Marcus Rashford. But without the dribbling, without the weak foot and without the pace, if you know what I mean. Like if you give me the option to pick Marcus Rashford gold card or Balassi, Trust me, I'm going to still pick Marcus Rashford. It's simple as that. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.